Hi, Foundry. My name is Kristen Keen, and I'm one of the writers on the devotion team here at Foundry. We are in week four of our current wait series, and today I'm going to introduce you to Hannah. So read along with me. Hannah is a Hebrew name meaning full of grace and mercy. It's a lovely name. Hannah was married to Elkanah, who loved her deeply, even though he had another wife, which was very common in ancient times. After years of marriage, Hannah did not have a child. In fact, scripture tells us twice in verse five that it was God himself who had kept her womb closed so that she did not yet have a child. Her rival, the other wife, did have children and she taunted Hannah. Elkanah distributed portions of the yearly sacrifice to both wives, yet he gave Hannah a double portion and spoke tenderly to her to comfort her in her childless misery. One day when Hannah was weeping before the house of God and whispering vows to God, she promised to give her son to God if he would remember her in her misery. Eli, the priest, overheard her request and sent her home with a word of blessing. God did remember her and gave her a son whom she named Samuel, because I asked the Lord for him. Once Samuel was weaned and about three to five years old, Hannah brought him and presented him to Eli at the house of the Lord. There, she left this little boy whom she had long waited and prayed for. She left her little boy in the care of an old priest to minister before the Lord. Samuel would sleep, eat, and live at the house of the Lord because Hannah kept her promise. Hannah was still his mama. And 1 Samuel 2, verse 18 to 19, gives us a unique and tender glimpse into the one act that Hannah could do each year for her son who served at the temple because of Hannah's obedience to a vow. In verse 18, it says, but Samuel was ministering before the Lord, a boy wearing a linen ephod. Each year, his mother made him a little robe and took it to him when she went up with her husband to offer the annual sacrifice. Now, I don't want to make you weep, but think. Think of how she would picture his face. Think of how she would wonder how he had grown throughout the year as she made him his new little robe, his ephod. Imagine how excited excited she was as the days drew near when she could go to worship the Lord and see her son Samuel as he ministered in the temple. Her waiting was part of her faithful life in trusting God. Thank you so much for joining me, Foundry. I hope and pray that you are having a wonderful day, and I highly encourage you to, divide, to dive into the rest of the devotions for the week and learn more and more about Hannah and her waiting and God's faithfulness. Thank you.